hey yo what is going on guys welcome back to another video here and in today's video we are doing ken omega versus mighty combat so we're going to be playing both the games i'm going to be giving you guys my opinions we're going to be looking at the discords hopefully and yeah other thing is make sure you guys join my ken omega gang or, or group you guys can set it as your group or gang so i know to like you know come say hi to you if i'm ever playing ken omega and my merch will be posted there there's only i'm pretty sure six days left of merch sale so there's only six days left of this uh 4k subscriber merch and then the other and it'll be taken off sale but the others will stay so this is only the limited edition one with the kisame on it if you guys do want to get that you guys better get it within six days or else it's gone forever and it will never come back guys other than that all groups discords music stuff links will be in the description and I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Alright guys, so first we're going to start off with Ken Omega. I'm going to try and get straight to the point because there's a lot to cover. And I don't really think we're going to get into the discords. But first things first and what is most important ken omega is still a good game it still has hope there is still hope of a comeback and it hasn't completely died yet and some people may disagree with me some people may not but if you take into consideration how much players the game was at two days ago three days ago it was only at 900 players right 900 simple players that's that's like nothing ken omega used to be at 2k 2.8k almost 3k on a daily basis but in the afternoon in the like the daytime it's only at 900 like barely bringing in 900 barely bringing in 1000 but right now at the time of recording 2 a.m in the morning right they have 1.2k over a small exp buff update they buff the exp and they unban people and they can bring in 1.2k again they boost their player base by like 300, 400 over that small update. I'm pretty sure if they did like a proper update and treated their game like they really cared. Like, listen, I'm not a dev. I don't know how much work it takes. I'm not a scripter. I don't know how much work it takes. But I'm pretty sure if you if you spend at least two hours a day, two hours a day on your game, you know, doing little updates at a time, like, Maybe you could build a new shop. Maybe you could make new CEOs. You know what I'm saying? And that just alone, having you sign fighters, having people that want to take those spots and stuff, that may bring a lot of players back. Just a map change. Just change the map up and take two hours a day. You know, within a week, do you know how much time that is? Like two times seven, seven days in a week, 14 hours of work i'm pretty sure they can make a tiny small update within 14 hours if not well i don't know how devving and scripting works but you know i'm pretty sure they could come up with something within 14 hours of time and if they need extra if they need two weeks if they need you know 28 hours they can take it but as long as there's consistent updates like they as long as we know it's like you know what like once every two weeks or we're gonna get an update like Right now, I didn't even know we were going to get an update. I don't know when the next update's going to be. I don't even know if there will ever be an update. Yesterday, I thought, like, I really thought that Ken Omega was done. I thought that there was going to be no more updates. I was shocked to find out that they did an update and it actually brought back players. You know, that's, that's something that I really appreciated. So, like, in my opinion, let me just wrap this up. Ken Omega really needs to be doing some more updates we're not asking for new styles we're not asking for you know game breaking changes but just add like spice it up a little come on spice it up you know maybe add add some new skill book styles or like something new to the skill book like add like two skills maybe one skill for each category maybe you know rework flash fire you know what i'm saying like maybe rework kure rework Mi mikazuchi that would bring a lot of players back you may not like think it may not be like that impactful but you may have like you know a lot of players coming back rolling for clans and stuff 
because people say oh they only care about robux they only care about money if they really did you know they could just come back rework it a little bit you know get some players back it's i don't know it's kind of hard to put some effort and time in a game that the devs really just gave up on and it seems like they gave up on it you know it really brings the morale down of the whole game because who really wants to be playing a game that the devs gave up on so just take a little bit of initiative from for the for the ken omega devs out there you know but the game is still fun i really do enjoy this game still but we'll move on to um mighty combat all right guys and now moving on to mighty combat mighty combat has been doing very well just throughout like the testing phase throughout the wave phase it's gotten a lot of hype gotten a lot of you know well-deserved attention like i'm saying well-deserved with a lot of confidence behind it because this game is going in the right direction 100 percent i'm gonna go over some discord leaks later this is the game that i'm gonna mostly go over discord leaks it's not too much gonna be gameplay but all i'm gonna be saying is i have high hopes for this game i have high hopes because they are taking you know this grind game and they are taking like a whole new twist to it sure it it has some um inspiration from other games it has some inspiration of course it's going to take inspiration from other games that's pretty much how all games are made there has to be some sort of inspiration there unless it's like a completely new idea but there's most likely always some inspiration but let's go hop into the discord and let me show you some of the some of the um what do you call it some of the leaks and stuff and let me just talk on that all right guys so here are some of their sneak peeks as i was talking about so they're fixing the ceo guns which is not a free model which i like they have ceo guns weapons bats knives look at these they look pretty good i'm really like i like this the baton for the law enforcement as i as you guys saw they have handcuffs the handcuffs are looking pretty good this is not supposed to be orange by the way it's probably just something that they were doing in like roblox studio or something like that this is i'm pretty sure this is like the oh this is just um a fandom never mind they have style showcases i'm pretty sure this is boxing they have weights so they're adding weights soon there's like premium gym and stuff police badges so head of law enforcement recruit you know season officer they'll have like their actual like title right on the badge i'm pretty sure they're gonna add a lot more and the players will be wearing those badges and stuff i have no idea what that is but here are the things that i really want to get into like they have a major update that they're planning and it looks so cool like look at this hold on i'm pretty sure you can hear that audio but that's okay look at this bat idol animation oh let me turn that down i don't know if that's actually copyrighted or not but that looks pretty cool i'm really liking these i'm gonna go ahead and play this one as well i'm pretty sure this is the swinging animations uh it's not really playing right now hold on let me see if it'll play in full screen maybe we gotta open that up let's open it up right here But yeah, that looks pretty cool. That looks like when you hold it out or something. Not too sure. But let's move on to like some of the next ones. They got like push up. Like, look at that. This is the idol. This is the bench press. And then this is the fail. So if you fail it, it actually falls down on you. And you hit yourself with it. I'm pretty I'm like enjoying all of that. They're doing like old building versus new building. They're like optimizing it. They're gonna have transportation. I'm pretty sure that was gonna take stamina, so it's not gonna be super OP. Look at these bat swings, so cool. Like, like it's oh, it's like moving in the right direction. And this is something that they totally have on Ken Omega right here. Some styles you're gonna see in Wave Two release star sumo. I have no idea what that is. Peekaboo boxing variation, like, and karate. You know how many styles that is. I'm pretty sure that's going to be seven styles on like by wave two by wave two, which is right now. They're probably going to have seven styles. That's already more than Ken Omega on a full release game. And Ken Omega took so much time to update and just add three styles. They're already going to have seven on release. They already got their police department. If you guys watched Baki, um, Baki's father actually had these uh, muscles from season two. I don't want to spoil anything, but if you guys know, you guys know the demon face 
muscles so they're adding that so it looks pretty cool they're adding they're renovating stores you know it's just constant updates constant constant updates which i'm really appreciating you know from mighty combat let's go back into the game and talk a little bit more all right guys so that is pretty much all the leaks and stuff most of them that i wanted to show the majority of them um it was a lot of leaks so i didn't want to take too long so i kind of just you know skimmed through it but as you guys can see those updates are not implemented in the game yet and they have so much that they're just gonna drop on us at once and that is what ken omega needs to do that is what you know more exploration more stuff to do like when everyone when the bikes drop everyone's gonna be like where's the bikes where's the bikes oh police officers there's gonna be like it's gonna be crazy and i just can't wait to like just go out and explore and have that new you know that feeling again of oh this is a new game this is a new grind this is a new experience and you know i'm just really excited but that pretty much wraps up the videos it was just pretty much the leaks there's nothing really to talk about in game because the game looks amazing um hope you guys did enjoy this video if you guys did please leave a like and subscribe and if you're already subscribed please turn on those notifications and all merch and links are going to be in the description below so make sure you guys click those hope you guys enjoyed and peace